HITC7's OGs will remember my series taking a look at the best player from every country in each of the world's seven continents. Yes, including Antarctica, in the build-up to a mega video looking at the best player from every country on Earth. The final video of that series, the best player from every country on Earth, is my most viewed video of all time, with more than 3 million views and counting. That was about two years ago now though, so I'm often asked to make an updated version. I'd love to, but honestly that series took me months to research, and I fear that if I redid it, there would be a chance that quite a lot of country's best players, in my view at least, would remain unchanged. Instead, and because I like to torture myself with videos that take days to write, research, and produce, I thought I'd take a look at capital cities instead, starting with Europe. So, to be clear, today's video is a look at the best footballer who was born in every European capital city, based on current ability, and solely in my opinion. There are 46 bona fide, officially recognised, totally indisputable European capitals, which I will start with before a quick word for those other capital cities towards the end. Without further ado then, here are my views on the best footballer right now to have been born in every European capital city. Amsterdam. Daily Blind. Starting with the Venice of the North, Amsterdam is a city known for its canals, coffee shops, and nightlife, but it is also one of the world's great footballing cities. Ajax are one of Europe's finest footballing institutions, home to one of the world's most consistently remarkable factories when it comes to producing world-class footballers. The likes of Johan Cruyff, Ruud Kroll, and Dennis Bergkamp were all born in Amsterdam, but of the modern crop, my choice is daily blind. Honourable mentions go to the likes of Quincy Promess, Steven Bergwijn, and young Myron Baudu, but given his resurgence since rejoining Ajax, and still aged only 31, it's Blind who takes it for me. Andorra La Vella, Max Lovera. Andorra is one of Europe's smallest countries, and though Andorra La Vella is the nation's largest city, it is still only home to 20,000 people. Perhaps unsurprisingly then, there weren't a plethora of candidates for this one though I do think there is a standout name. Max Lovera was born in Andorra La Vella, but moved to Catalonia at the age of 14. Ten years on, the 24-year-old centre-back has won 30 caps for his native national team as one of their star performers, and he plays his club football for EC Granollers, still based in Catalonia, in Spain's fifth tier. Athens. Thomas Dracosha. Athens is often referred to as the birthplace of Western civilization given the intellectual and artistic breakthroughs carried out by the ancient Greeks, but it is also the birthplace of Lazio goalkeeper Thomas Strakosha. For the record, I think that's probably the finest segue I have ever done. Partridge will be proud. Back on topic, it may be a small dent to the Athenian pride that the city's finest footballer, in my eyes at least, doesn't actually represent Greece. Though Strakosha was born in Athens, his father is Albanian and was also an Albanian international goalkeeper. Thomas chose to represent Albania, with whom he has won 14 caps to date, and as one of the most accomplished goalkeepers within the Italian game, he's my choice for Athens. Belgrade, Nikola Milenkovic. The most competitive city yet, the Serbian capital of Belgrade, is a hotbed of both football rivalries and talent. Lazio midfielder Adam Rusic, Inter Milan defender Alexander Kolarov, Fiorentina forward Dusan Vlavic, Napoli centre-back Nikola Maksimovic, and Sevilla midfielder Nemanja Gudel ensure that this was one of the most tightly fought selections of all, and I changed my mind a couple of times. In the end, I went with Nikola Milenkovic, primarily due to his fine form this season, along with the fine margins involved. A giant of a man, at 6 foot 5, Milenkovic is unsurprisingly dominant in the air, and the young centre-back is already a star man for Fiorentina, in addition to having won almost 30 caps for Serbia. Berlin. Jerome Boateng. The capital of Europe's richest and most powerful nation, Berlin is a big city with a fascinating relationship with football. Incredibly passionate about the sport, but long-term underachievers, though their club sides haven't won a myriad of trophies, some of their players have. One such example is Jerome Boateng, Berlin's finest in my eyes, who has won no fewer than 24 trophies, including the World Cup, the Champions League twice, and many, many Bundesliga titles. Once the most complete centre-back in world football, Boateng has enjoyed a career renaissance following a slight wobble and he fairly comfortably sees off the challenge of fellow German centre-back Antonio Rudiger. 
Bern. Ishmael Tajori Shradi. One of only eight European capitals to have played host to a World Cup final, Bern set the stage for perhaps the greatest World Cup upset of all time in 1954, when West Germany overcame an all-conquering Hungary team. Much like Athens, however, my choice as Bern's finest footballer is someone who doesn't represent the nation in which he was born. Ishmael Tajori Shradi is the son of a former Libyan diplomat who was based in the Swiss capital of Bern, hence why Ishmael was born there. A bright and energetic number 10 who is now a permanent resident in the United States and stars for New York City FC, Tajori Shradi plays his international football for Libya rather than for Switzerland. Bratislava Lucas Radecki I'm not just doing this because it's an interesting phenomenon, but yet again, Lucas Radecki does not represent the nation in which he was born. Lucas Radecki was born in Bratislava, then part of Czechoslovakia, and now Slovakia, but when he was just one year old, his family relocated to Finland. Having been raised in Finland, Radecki chose to represent the Nordic national team, and you could argue that he is already one of Finland's greatest ever players. Capped 64 times by Finland and a star man for Bayer Leverkusen, Hrodecki is a safe pair of hands and he was always a safe bet for the Slovak capital of Bratislava. Brussels Alexis Salimakis The de facto capital of the European Union, the EU doesn't have an official capital, but the city is home to the European Commission, the Council of the European Union and the European Council. Our second contentious capital, in my eyes at least, you can take your pick in Brussels between Adnan Yanazai, Michi Bashwai, Marwan Fellaini, Jason Denier, and Alexis Salamakers. I have gone for the AC Milan man, who is still very young, but has often looked bright this season. Though, I've no doubt others would opt for someone else, and I think you can make a half-decent argument for all of the aforementioned players. Bucharest Stefan Radu from a baby of the game to a real veteran, Stefan Radu ought to have become one of Romania's most capped players of all time. But in reality, he has only represented his country 13 times in the senior game. Radu made his international debut as a 20-year-old, but in 2013, he effectively retired from the international game following a fallout with Romania's Football Federation, never to return. At club level, the 34-year-old has been remarkably consistent for Lazio for more than a decade racking up more than 400 appearances at either left-back or centre-back. He recently eclipsed Giuseppe Favelli to become Lazio's all-time record appearance holder, which no doubt has just been eclipsed in his list of accomplishments by me calling him the best current footballer born in Bucharest. Budapest Peter Galacci Few European capitals have produced as much talent as Budapest over the years, but Hungary's downturn over the last half century has seen a decline in the level of talent that the city has produced as well. Hungary's football shows signs of improvements right now, and number one Peter Galacci is likely to be key to that recovery. The former Hull City Loney, because let's face it, that is what he's best known for, never really pulled up any trees during his time in England, but Red Bull really does appear to have given him wings. Revitalised at Red Bull Salzburg and a key man for RB Leipzig, Galacci has become a regular fixture for a Champions League team, and he's the obvious candidate from Hungary's beautiful capital. Chisinau, Arte Ionita. Moldova are among Europe's lesser national teams, shall we say, having recently been battered 8-0 by Denmark in World Cup qualifying. And I can remember from my previous series that Alexandra Eperenu is usually a shoe in for anything Moldova related as the nation's most established name. He is still a strong candidate from the Moldovan capital of Chisinau, but I think he has been leapfrogged by the nation's next biggest name. Creator midfielder Arte Yonita stars for Syria new boys Benevento, whom he joined from Cagliari just last summer, and he takes this one. Copenhagen, Kasper Schmeichel. Speaking of Denmark, it is the capital of the Slayers of Moldova that feature next, in the form of Copenhagen. By far the largest city in Denmark, a number of the nation's best players hail from the capital, including the likes of Pierre-Emil Hoiberg, Thomas Delaney, and Yannick Vestergaard. All are strong candidates, but my choice is Kasper Schmeichel, Leicester City, and Denmark's outstanding number one. Dublin, Matt Doherty. These are dark days indeed for Irish football, and never has the Irish national team had such a dearth of talent. With that being said, even with their lack of talent, they are still underachieving. 
Matt Doherty is my choice as the best current player born in Dublin, narrowly ahead of his opposite fullback, Ender Stevens. Excellent as a wingback, but a little suspect as a fullback, it is unfortunate from an Irish perspective that two of the nation's better players both like to play on the right side of a back four or back five. Helsinki, Joel Pohian Palo. It's ironic, I suppose, that the best Finnish player in this video wasn't born in the Finnish capital, but there is still some genuine talent hailing from Helsinki. The most glowing example of that fact is Joel Pohian Palo who began his career with Klubio 4, where he scored 33 goals in just 25 games in Finland's second tier as a 16-year-old. 10 years and 34 caps later, Pohjan Palo now plays for high-flying Bundesliga new boys Union Berlin on loan from Bayer Leverkusen. Kiev Roman Zozulia A controversial figure within the European game, some of you may recall that Roman Zozulia was the man who joined Rayo Vallecano on loan but never played for the club due to opposition from supporters to his reported links to far-right politics in Ukraine. Kiev is Europe's seventh largest city, so it is a curious phenomenon that so few of Ukraine's finest footballers hail from the nation's capital. Zazulia capitalises on that lack of competition though, the 31-year-old having starred for Segunda Division side Albacete since 2017. Lisbon Bernardo Silva Portugal's capital of Lisbon is slightly smaller than I thought, for some reason, home to roughly half a million people. Portugal has long punched above its weight when it comes to producing footballers though, and the nation's capital is no exception. The pick of the bunch right now is surely Bernardo Silva, Manchester City's tenacious and tireless midfield magician. Comfortably among the best midfielders in the Premier League, Bernardo is comfortable out wide or in more of a central role, and he has already won half a century of caps for the Portuguese national team, still aged only 26. Ljubljana, Jan Oblak. Slovenia's two best players are both goalkeepers, and both hail from the nation's capital city of Ljubljana. Those two are of course Jan Oblak, who is arguably the best goalkeeper in the world, and Samir Handanovic, who has been close to that elite bracket for a very long time. Both are magnificent goalkeepers, but Oblak is truly special, so he takes this one. London. Harry Kane London is the capital of England and of the United Kingdom, meanwhile the capitals of Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland don't feature, among most lists of official European capitals, since they don't divide up the four nations of the United Kingdom. Though, fear not, I will include each of them at the end, and who knows, we might literally divide them all up before too long. Starting with London though, Europe's third largest and most densely populated capital, the city is a hotbed of talent and it is home to more elite level clubs than any other city in Europe. It's somewhat surprising then that my choice as London's finest is quite so straightforward. It's Harry Kane without a shadow of a doubt. England's best player, Kane is one of the finest players in the Premier League and one of the best centre forwards in the world game. I'll give an honourable mention to Jadon Sancho, whose potential is frightening, but it wasn't even close. Luxembourg Christopher Martins Pereira the capital of Luxembourg is sometimes referred to as Luxembourg City, a bit like Mexico City, but its official name is actually just Luxembourg. By far the nation's largest city, it's worth bearing in mind that Luxembourg is tiny, though the national team has made real strides in recent years, culminating in their recent victory over the Republic of Ireland in World Cup qualifying. The city's finest footballer is undoubtedly Christopher Martins Pereira, who pulls the strings in midfield for the national team while starring for young boys in Switzerland at club level. Aged 24, Martins Pereira had the choice of representing either Luxembourg or Cape Verde, but he went for his nation of birth, with whom he has already won 42 caps. Madrid Rodri Madrid is a big city, the sixth largest in the continent, and it is home to two genuine behemoths of the European game. If you were to build an 11 made up of players born in each of Europe's capitals, I have little doubt that Madrid's team would be the second strongest, and picking one from a number of candidates is pretty tough. Those candidates include the likes of Koke, Alvaro Morata, Ashraf Hakimi, David De Gea, Marcus Llorente, and Sergio Regulon. I must admit, I was pretty torn. But in the end, I went for Rodri, who was outstanding for Atletico Madrid and is really starting to find his feet now in an excellent Man City side. I wouldn't argue for too long with anyone who opts for one of the others though, unless you picked Morata. Minsk Alexander Martinovic 
Minsk ranks among Europe's 10 largest cities, with a population just shy of 2 million people, which means that it is larger than Barcelona or Munich in terms of population. You might think that there would be a plethora of talented footballing Minskonians then, but you would be mistaken. It's slim pickings, but the outstanding candidate is veteran centre-back Alexander Martinovic, who is currently in his 10th season with FC Krasnodar and has won 75 caps for Belarus, who are ranked 88th in the FIFA World Rankings. Monaco Olivier Boscali One of Europe's smallest capitals, particularly in terms of landmass, Monaco is one of only three sovereign city-states in all of Europe. Home to roughly 35,000 people, Monaco is Europe's best known tax haven, and is home to a number of high net worth individuals. The country chooses not to have a FIFA affiliated national team, and instead plays host to a very competitive club side, who compete in France's top flight. Footballers born in Monaco, therefore, not that there are many of them, are eligible to represent France instead. Olivier Boscali has done just that at under 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21 level just not yet, for the senior team. The talented 23-year-old centre-back came through the youth ranks at Nice, but he plays for PSV now, where he has been excellent this season. Moscow Ertem Zupa Moscow is the largest city that is entirely in Europe, with a population of more than 12 million people. The city's finest footballer, at this moment in time, is a giant of a man who you wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of. Wonderfully prolific at international level, Zuba is a bit like Russia's answer to Peter Crouch, a 6 foot 6 inch giant of a man who has scored 29 goals from only 49 caps. At club level, the former Spartak target man now stars for Zenit St. Petersburg, where he has scored 88 goals in 204 games. Nicosia Piero Sotiriu A man who has scored goals for fun pretty much wherever he has been, it would be interesting to see what Piero Sotiriu could do in one of Europe's more established and competitive leagues. Formerly of Apoel, FC Copenhagen and Astana, he joined controversial Bulgarian outfit Ludogorets Razgrad at the start of this year, where he's already bagged a couple of goals. A very honourable mention must go to fellow Cypriot international and Nicosia native Andreas Caro, who does play in one of Europe's more established leagues, having recently signed for Maritimo from Lazio. Nuke Simeon Sorensen I'm not 100% sure why Nuuk counts as an official European capital when Greenland is officially part of Denmark and other dependencies capitals do not. Maybe it's something to do with them having more autonomy, but hey, we'll go along with it. Those of you who watched my recent documentary about Greenlandic football will be well aware that there aren't many Greenlanders playing out in the wider world, but Simeon Sorensen and Lucas Ivik are two exceptions. A quick update for those of you who did watch that documentary, or those of you who plan to do so, to say that Greenland have managed to organise a friendly against FC Nordjylland for September, which will no doubt be tough for them, but it is great to see that progress as they look to become FIFA and association affiliated. Oslo Morton Thorsby My first thought for Oslo was Joshua King, who did come close, but upon further inspection I think Morton Thorsby is actually the stronger candidate. Thorsby has only actually won four caps for Norway, but he has been a regular fixture for Sampdoria in Serie A this season, where he's done a really solid job. A tall, tough tackling central midfielder, Thorsby made a pretty staggering 28 appearances for Norway's under 21s, and he comes in just ahead of Everton's pacey frontman Josh King, who, like earlier inclusion Peter Galacci, is best known for the time he spent on loan at Hull City. Paris Kylian Mbappe no city on earth, never mind in Europe, comes remotely close to producing the talent of Paris and its poor suburbs over the last 10 to 15 years. A quite staggering amount of talent has come out of the French capital, more, you could even argue, than any other nation, never mind capital or city. Kylian Mbappe remains the standout candidate in my eyes, as probably the best young player on the planet, but you could also take your pick from the likes of Angolo Kante, Paul Pogba, and even Algerian international, Riyad Mahrez. Podgorica, Stevan Jovetic. The one European capital that I always forget, well, not the only one, but the one that I most routinely forget, from now on, when I think of Montenegro, I will think of Stevan Jovetic, and hopefully, then I'll remember Podgorica. Jovetic doesn't have it all to himself in the Montenegrin capital, there's also Levante enforcer Nikola Vucevic, but Jovetic still takes it for me. 
The former Man City and Fiorentina man, who was something of a teenage prodigy, now plays for Monaco, and he has bagged five goals in his last four games for Montenegro. Prague, Patrick Schick. Does any team feature more frequently in this video than Bayer Leverkusen? I'm not sure, I haven't done the required research, this video took me long enough as it is, but I suspect the answer may be no. The club's third representative is Patrick Schick, who, to my mind, is the best player in world football right now who was born in the Czech capital of Prague. A powerful frontman, formerly of Roma and Sampdoria, Schick has scored 12 goals in 28 games for Leverkusen so far this season. Reykjavik Albert Goodmanson If you, like me, are a bit underwhelmed by Reykjavik's inclusion, given that over 90% of Iceland's population lives in the capital, then I can explain. Whilst 93% of Icelanders live in what is known as the capital region of Greater Reykjavik, not all of them live within the city proper of Reykjavik. So someone like Gylfi Sigurdsson, who was born in a small coastal town just a few miles outside of Reykjavik, can't feature. Consequently, young AZ Alkmaar star Albert Gudmundsson, capped 20 times by the national team to date, steals in to take this one. Riga, Andres Chiganix. Put bluntly, Latvia is a small country which struggles on the international stage. The finest footballer from the nation's capital of Riga, as far as I can tell, is another young wide man by the name of Andrei Shiganiks, who has won 18 caps for his country to date and plays his club football in Ukraine with Zoya Luhansk. Rome Lorenzo Pellegrini The capital of the Roman Empire and the capital of modern-day Italy, Rome is Italy's largest city but has not traditionally been home to the nation's most dominant clubs, though Lazio and Roma have both consistently competed for trophies. The capital's finest representative right now, in my eyes, is one of Roma's brightest lights, and that is Lorenzo Pellegrini. An excellent midfield operator with plenty of strings to his bow, Pellegrini is rapidly closing in on 150 appearances for Roma and on 20 caps for the Azzurri. City of San Marino Filippo Berardi San Marino are often referred to as being the worst national team in the world, which is nonsense, but they are probably the worst in Europe. That shouldn't come as any great surprise, given that San Marino is a microstate of just 35,000 people that is entirely enclosed by Italy. Filippo Berardi is my choice as the city of San Marino's finest alumni, the 23-year-old right-winger currently playing his club football in Italy's Serie C. Sarajevo Edin Zeko. Not just the finest current footballer from Bosnia's capital of Sarajevo, Edin Zeko is a strong candidate to be the greatest footballer to have represented Bosnia and Herzegovina full stop, probably along with Miralem Pjanic. Zeko has scored 59 goals in 113 games for Bosnia, in addition to scoring prolifically in three of Europe's top five leagues. One of Sarajevo's most beloved sons, Zeko is a comfortable winner for the Bosnian capital. Skopje, Enis Bardi. Go on then, how's your geography? Which European country is Skopje the capital of? Give yourself seven points if you said North Macedonia, just one if you said Macedonia because you've annoyed the Greeks, and none if you said anything else because you were just wrong. Levante number 10 Enis Bade takes the crown as the finest player from one of Europe's less celebrated capitals, narrowly ahead of Napoli midfielder Elja Felmas. Bardi has won 33 caps for North Macedonia, and he proudly shared the record for the most free kick goals scored in La Liga in the 2017-18 season with Lionel Messi. Sofia Evelyn Popov Sofia native Evelyn Popov is a veteran forward who has been around the block a bit. Age 33, he retired from international football in 2019 following 90 caps for the Bulgarian national team. At club level, Popov has spent the last eight years in Russia, where he currently plays for young Russian Premier League side FC Sochi. Stockholm Ludwig Augustinsson A worthy winner for Stockholm, by virtue of having the most Swedish-sounding name you could ever imagine, Ludwig Augustinsson is also quite good at football. An attack-minded fullback who has won 32 caps for Sweden, Augustinsson is quick, adventurous, and he possesses a dangerous left foot. He has been with Werder Bremen since 2017, where he has made more than 100 appearances. Tallinn Ewan Tan 
a name that always looks like his parents just spelled Jonas wrong but refused to admit it, I know that Jonas is actually a fairly common name in both Estonia and Finland, and I am just exposing my ignorance. Estonia are not a European footballing powerhouse, and nor is Talon's finest, one of the best players in this list. Jonas Tam is a 29-year-old centre-back with 38 caps to his name, and he plays his club football for Desna Cherniev in Ukraine. Tirana, Jon Mersenac. Albania have some decent players, and Tirana is by far the biggest city in Albania. Yet none of Albania's best players are from Tirana. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Jon Mersenac is the best player who I can find from the Albanian capital, unless I'm missing someone, a 22-year-old centre-back who plays for Lokomotiva Zagreb in Croatia, and is yet to win his first senior cap for the Albanian national team. Vaduz. Sandro Visa. Liechtenstein is the third smallest country in Europe by population, and it is also Europe's third worst national team as per FIFA's world rankings, so their talent is exactly proportionate to their size. The bulk of the Liechtenstein squad play their club football domestically, including the capital Veruz's finest son, Sandro Visa. Formerly of Basel in Switzerland, Hoffenheim in Germany, and Reading in England, Visa never played much football for any of them and the 28-year-old midfielder is now back in his homeland playing for FC Verduz, who compete in the Swiss Super League. Valletta Rashed Altumi I'm not saying that there is a lack of talent from the Maltese capital of Valletta, but my choice as the city's best player doesn't even have a Wikipedia page. To be fair, that is hardly surprising, given that Malta is tiny, and the capital city Valletta is only the seventh largest city in the country with a population of just over 6,000. That is about the same as the village that I live in in East Yorkshire, though it must be said, the village I live in has produced a Premier League player. So, time to step it up the letter. Rashid Altumi is a goalkeeper who plays his club football in Italy's Serie C. Vatican City Marcello Rosati Vatican City is the smallest nation state in Europe in terms of both area and population. It is also the only sovereign state in Europe, along with Monaco, that doesn't have a FIFA or UEFA-affiliated national team. The Vatican does have a representative side, once famously coached by Giovanni Trapattoni, but they only play friendly matches, and very infrequently. Marcello Rosati is the only player born in Vatican City to have a Wikipedia page, which I think is pretty conclusive evidence that he is the city's best, even aged 38. Vienna, David Alaba. Austria's starman David Alaba was born in the nation's capital of Vienna, making this one a bit of a slam dunk. Vienna is a city which played a key role in the development of football, though many decades before Alaba was born, and he departed for Munich, aged only 16. A bit of a childhood prodigy, Alaba has managed to come good on his potential, but whilst his form at club level has always been fantastic, he has sometimes been accused of failing to replicate those performances on the international stage. Nonetheless, he is hands down the best Vienna native in world football right now. Vilnius Arvidas Novikovas Lithuania is a very rare example of a European country in which football isn't the most popular sport. And it shows. Lithuania rank 129th in the FIFA World Rankings, and Vilnius has a larger population than Lisbon, but it doesn't quite have the same impressive alumni. Arvidas Novikovas is the pick of the bunch, a 30-year-old wide man who will be familiar with Scottish viewers, having spent five years in the Scottish Premiership with Hearts and St Johnston. Nowadays, he plays in Turkey for Turkish Super League struggles BBS Zermspor, where he is a teammate of former Manchester United and Newcastle United man Gabriel Overton. Warsaw Robert Lewandowski Poland's best player by a million miles, and one of their greatest players of all time, was born in the nation's capital of Warsaw, making this one of the easiest decisions in this entire list. I should point out that Wojciech Szczesny was also born in Warsaw and give him an honourable mention, but he never stood a chance. Quite possibly the finest centre forward in world football right now, Lewandowski has scored 66 goals in 118 games for Poland and 478 goals in 692 games at club level, primarily for Borussia Dortmund and Bayern Munich. Zagreb Marcelo Brozovic Perennial overachievers Croatia have a wealth of talent in central midfield, so it is little surprise to see one of their midfield maestros come out on top from the only European capital to start with the Z. 
a real force of nature in midfield for both Croatia and Inter Milan, I've long felt Brozovic was a tremendously underrated footballer, outside of fans, of the teams he plays for at least. Capped 57 times by Croatia to date, the 28-year-old midfield all-rounder looks set to win the Scudetto in Milan this season, and he takes the crown for Zagreb, just ahead of prolific Hoffenheim marksman Andre Kramaric. That is it for the so-called official European capitals, but there are one or two other, perhaps less definitive ones, that haven't yet featured, that I'm going to include anyway. From the Scottish capital of Edinburgh, I'm going for Rangers number one Alan McGregor, who is still going strong at the age of 38, and is the only player in this video that I've spoken to at a nightclub. Yet. Not long, until Simeon Sorensen and I are hitting up the streets of Nuke together for a rowdy Thursday night. From the Welsh capital of Cardiff, it remains a slam dunk for Gareth Bale, even if he isn't quite the player that he once was. Over in Northern Ireland, and the capital of Belfast, it is a comfortable win for Johnny Evans to complete the so-called home nations. Then there's cities like Pristina, the capital of Kosovo, which is a disputed territory that is partially recognised, which is presumably why it didn't feature among the so-called official list that I went off. The United Kingdom recognises Kosovo, and that is where I am based, and Kosovo also have their own national team. So, Pristina earns an inclusion, and Kosovo captain Amir Rahmani, who plays as a centre-back for Napoli, earns an inclusion. There are also capitals of countries that are partially in Europe, but their capitals are either only partially in Europe, or aren't in Europe at all, like Baku and Istanbul, although... Istanbul obviously isn't the capital of Turkey, this is what happens when I go off script, that is Ankara, which is not at all in Europe. Nevertheless, I think Arda Toran is the best player born in Istanbul still, and Mahir Emreli is undoubtedly the best current player who was born in Baku. Then you have overseas territories who do have UEFA affiliated national teams, despite not being independent nations like Gibraltar, whose best player surely has to be Liam Walker, and the Faroe Islands is another one, whose best player from the capital of Torshavan would probably have to be Gunnar Nielsen, who is the national team's number one, formerly played for Manchester City, and now plays his club football in Iceland. I'm sure I may have missed one or two potential capitals, but quite frankly this took me long enough, and by the time I reached Torshavan, I hadn't eaten in three days, I'd grown a full beard, and I was losing the will to live. So hopefully, you will let me off. Thank you all as ever for tuning in, you know it is much appreciated. If you enjoyed today's video, I would encourage you to hit the like button because apparently it's great for the YouTube algorithm, and also because it is just a really nice thing to do. Feel free to leave your thoughts down below in the comments, except for any slander about Europe's lesser national teams that won't be tolerated, and go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications for the finest YouTube channel on God's green earth. Whichever god you believe in that is, and none at all, if you're an atheist, just a green earth, or the green earth potentially created by a god which you simultaneously can't prove or disprove and therefore you cannot come to any true conclusion on the matter if you are agnostic. Where was I? Oh yeah, just please subscribe. Have a great day and follow me on social media for more of my inane ramblings via the username at HITC7s on both Instagram and Twitter should you wish to do so.